Zatia. And she, she, she's the banca of the Mount State Banca, Oklahoma. Inaha, Naha, Gaha, uh, Gaha Tanga. Yeah. My name is Casey Campornik. I'm a member of the Ponca Council in uh, Oklahoma. I'm a mama, a grandma, and a great grandma. And that's what brings me here today. We have had a series of uh, events in our history that have created uh, first a genocidal process through forced removals, smallpox blankets, and and now the extractive industry is taking its toll on my people. We're having uh, asthma events that are up to 40,000 a year of our children being affected uh, and, and so many thousands of them having to be hospitalized. Among the Ponca Nation, we've had our uh, wells and tanks tested by earthworks and found that within a five mile radius, we've had 30 out of 30 leaking, we believe, methane gas. The methane gas has also been reaching into not just the airs, but everything has to breathe. So the trees, the grasses, the animals, even the fish in the waters have had to deal with that. We've had five fish kills in the last two years directly relatable to the extractive industries practices on our tiny bit of a reservation there. We're having issues there of cardiovascular diseases we believe are directly related. And you know, there was a time in our past when we said you can't buy and sell the air, but now we have carbon trading. You can't buy and sell the waters, but now it's bottled waters that we depend on. You can't buy and sell the earth, and yet the extractive industry is doing just that. So we're asking the EPA right now to, to think with your heart and to understand with your mind what the effects are for the generations to come. Don't think of today and how you can line your pockets and how you can build your bank account, but think with your soul and your spirit about the seven generations to come. And what kind of legacy are you gonna leave for them? Are you gonna leave a legacy that says, my grandma and my grandpa didn't care, now I can't breathe. My grandma and my grandpa didn't care. And now my children are suffering and dying from cancers. Are you gonna say I stood strong, I made the right decisions, and I'm proud I have a legacy to leave?